The Detective, AKA Search My Wallet. It's one of my favorite icebreakers. To make this work, you're going to need a nice Bluetooth speaker, a couple wallets filled with personal information, a detective's costume, and a dead body. <gasps> Here's how to make it work. Before class begins, I'm gonna take my wallet and my dead body and I'm gonna cover them up in the classroom. Then I'm gonna leave the room and ideally I won't see my students at all. From outside of the class, I'll monitor and know when all of the students have arrived. And without them seeing me, I will put on my detective's costume. This is me as a detective. I'll switch off the lights if it's an evening course to give it an effect. And I'll play some sort of sound effect like someone screaming or like a gunshot or whatever you wanna do to get their attention. Now I've got their attention, they're in the dark and they suddenly hear these loud sounds. I'll then switch to some sort of song with a criminal feel. Think like the Pink Panther or the Usual Suspects or Law and Order, you know, something with that detective feel to it. I will then jump into the classroom, switch on the lights, look around a little bit, ask the students if they saw anything suspicious, and oh my God, what is this on the classroom? I walk over to it, I flip it over, and it's a dead body. I'll ask my students what happened. They'll say there's been a murder. I'll ask them who I am or pretending to be. They'll say a detective. I'll pull up the wallets and ask what are these. They're gonna say clues or I'll get them to say clues. And then I will put them into groups. I'll give each group a wallet and I'll say that they have to find seven clues about this person. Um, so we'll do a demo in front of the whole class just so that they know what they're trying to look for. And I'll give them a little bit of direction, like try to find what this means. What could this clue mean about this type of person? And I've got a whole bunch of interesting business cards and things in there and stuff that they can rummage through. And while they're trying to find out as much information as possible, I'm gonna be monitoring and kind of like guiding them and helping them out. The whole entire time, I'm playing music that has that detective crime feel to it. We'll go for about eight minutes or so. I'll break the class and the group that got the most interesting and accurate information wins. And this leads to me introducing myself to them as their teacher. This icebreaker really works because you've got so much engagement right from the start. You have the lights being switched off, you have the sound effect, you have the detective music, you have me coming in wearing a detective's costume, you have the dead body, You've got the wallets. There's so much stuff going on. It literally starts off with a bang. Once the lights get switched off and the students hear that sound effect, they're not gonna know what's happening at all. And it really kind of increases the amount of engagement. On a first day, most students expect just for the teacher to be standing in front of them. So for them to not even know what's going on and kind of being brought into some sort of crime drama is really, really exciting. Students also like rummaging through personal things and there's a lot of creativity with their answers and the things that they're going to come up with. So this is one of my favorite icebreakers. A couple things to make it work. Obviously, you're gonna need at least two wallets if you wanna have two different groups. If you have a big class, you're gonna want more than two wallets, maybe three or four. These wallets, are not mine. Um, this is just random stuff that's kind of related to me, but my credit cards, my bank information, all the really important stuff I'm not gonna put in there, of course. And likewise, use music throughout the entire activity. You can really get a lot of ambiance by having crime music during their whole entire group work. So use this, it's a great icebreaker.